What's going on everybody? So today I have a hot take for you all. I am about to give you guys my opinion on the new artifact ascension mechanic and the new dungeon. And spoiler alert, I think it's a great update. I really don't have that much to say that's negative about it, but I do have very, very important criticisms to make that I think that, uh, I think the system overall is really good and I think the execution is poor. So let me explain. First off, um, Addressing first two points here. One, we have the actual energy required for the dungeon. This, I do think, needs a change. To me, it makes zero sense um, why this isn't just a key base system. Same with the Iron Twins. I feel like this could just easily be a six key per day type thing um, where you're running in every day, you have six keys, you run them, boom, you're done. If you want to, you can go ahead and refresh with some gems and uh, run it back again. Now, if they made this system, what they're gonna wanna do is increase the drop rate, right? Because if they increase the drop rate, um, that means you can get a decent amount more per day if they're gonna do a key base system. And this fixes the other issue. If they increase the drop rate and add keys to it because you're gonna get the daily income of keys. The other thing is the advanced quest. People are complaining about this one. I don't know about, even know if I have it. To be honest, I'm not even able to go ahead and, um, and do my advanced quest anyways and i'm a month in so this is coming from a perspective that uh that has played way later on in the game and uh is starting a new account in 2023 here or late 2022 whatever you want to call it um i can't even beat my advanced quest completely so i can't even get the energy refill so i haven't even tried sans the the sand necropolis because there, there's no reason for me to but if they added a key system, I would. And on top of that, um, I would have no problems if I was able to get one ascension out of those six keys per day, I'd have no problems with that. Keep it as an advanced quest, okay? Add the six keys, make it so it doesn't cost any energy, up the drop rate, boom, you've solved both those problems and everyone enjoys farming the dungeon. But I don't think that's the major criticism of the update. I think people are targeting uh, the advanced quest and using it as kind of like a beating stick to why the update is bad, personally. That's that's how I view it. Now, uh, I think two creators in particular have uh, kind of made some points that not to diminish what they're feeling or anything like that, because I do think that uh, it's completely valid and it absolutely affects them because they're the top 1%. In particular, um, I wanted to, to, to mention some, some criticisms by Smiley and MacChim. Now, I actually have a lot of experience hanging out with Smiley. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he joined some Diablo Immortal uh, earlier on into the uh, into the game, and we hung out a lot. So I, actually, I I, uh, I I really appreciate Smiley and uh, what he does for for you all in the raid community, as well as what he did for us in the Diablo community. So um, I, I, I don't hate anyone here. I, I found that. Uh, they're all great to hang out with. But I will say that uh, I think that the problem they're having, we just got absolutely wrecked there. Um, I think that the, pe the problem that people are having isn't to do with the fact that their gear pieces are ruined. Objectively speaking, there is no piece that can be ruined in the definitional sense that it was good before and now it's not. If you wanna use the comparative sense in which this gear piece was one of the best and now it's not one of the best, it's just a good piece, right? Because we're talking about the difference between like, let's say we roll a speed boot, we get 45 speed on it. Um, and then we uh, we find that it doesn't roll the ascension speed, which means we only have that 45 speed instead of the 57 speed, which you could potentially get. Yeah, that's actually just a decent piece now. It's it's okay, it's not great, it's not bad. But that's only for the speed boots, right? For the crit, for the gauntlets, for the uh, chest piece, for the weapon, the helmet, the shield. Weapon, helmet, and shield barely matter, okay, first off. Barely matter. The gauntlets, uh, chest piece, and the boots do matter, and particularly the chest or the gauntlets and the boots, right? Because boots can roll speed, and gauntlets can roll crit damage um, or crit rate if you're running crit rate in some sort of like hybrid DPS, something like that. So that's what we need to, to kind of think about. And people aren't upset that their pieces are ruined because, objectively speaking, this system just makes your character stronger. Yes, it's not by much, especially on the helmet, shield, and weapon. But for the bottom pieces, your system makes your character stronger, regardless of what you want to say. For PvE content, every single piece of PvE content is now easier due to this system. Why? Because you have a potential of gaining additional stats where you otherwise would not have been able to, although it does require energy, so it's not a crazy bonus, but there's nothing negative about it for PvE. Now we move on to PvP, okay? And... This is where the conversation comes up. Okay, well, people are gonna have better stats than I will. 
This really only matters for the top 1%. Again, people are competing for platinum. People who just want to log in and get their gold tokens every day, they're not going to matter. It's not going to matter a whole lot. Why? Because you have one farming team. You just get that one speed boot with the Ascension and you'll be easily able to just do the exact same thing as you were previously. In fact, I would argue that's even easier because grinders like myself who are kind of beginning the game, I am going to be prioritizing getting that speed on my speed boots whenever I get a chance. And some people might not be doing that which means I'll have an increased viability in Arena compared to what I was able to do before, which is great for me. Now, for Platinum Arena, this ends up being a whole new grind. Now, here's the thing, guys. People are like, oh, well, my Platinum Arena, people in Platinum Arena are going to be completely screwed over. They're not mad about the fact that your gear is ruined. This is not true because it's happening to everyone. Everyone is going through the same process. If you're arena, if you're in platinum arena, uh, you're probably a spender. And if you're someone who's a major spender, you're like, I don't like the system because my gear is ruined. Guess what? Every single other person out there, yes, it's RNG, but every single other person is going through the same process you are, right? It's not like unique to you. Your feelings are also being reciprocated by everyone else in the platinum arena sphere. They're all going through the same process. They're all having the same pieces that are like, oh, well, this piece was trash before, but now it's one of my best pieces. That's just what happens with this update. Because guess what? They're making you re-grind your min-max stats where previously you didn't have to do that. So people aren't mad that their gear is ruined or people aren't mad that, uh, you know, all this stuff that they're claiming. In my opinion, what they're really mad about is that they had completed something before and now they have to re-grind it. And that's where the issue comes in. The fact that people have to go and reform dungeons for hours upon hours when they spent years of their life farming dungeons to get the best pieces, and now their best pieces are not the best because of the ascension system, and now they have to spend the next couple of years grinding and grinding the sand necropolis to go get your ascensions and your gear pieces again make them the best. And that's the issue. It's purely... Um, emotionally driven which isn't a bad thing but objectively speaking from the update everyone's going through the same process everyone's going to have the same rng some people are going to be luckier than others but guess what that was before as well if someone spent four years grinding someone could have way better gear than you could have just because they have better stats on their gear now granted if we're talking about like arena there's so much you know statistical average going into play when you're grinding for four years you have so much sample size that most people in just a five uh, 4v4 arena fight is going to have the same gear but when we go into tag team arena we're talking about 12 characters and when we talk about 12 characters yeah rng could definitely play a role there because that's a lot of pieces of gear and you may end up not having as good of gear as someone else who might have farmed and gotten luckier than you and it's the same thing that's going to happen with the potions over time, it will average out. For this first week or month or two months or so, I imagine that most people are going to be luckier than some others. But guess what? You're going to be farming, you're going to be farming, you're going to be investing, assuming you want to still stay in Platinum Arena and you want to push for the top. That's what this whole game is about, gear farming. That's the whole game. The whole game is gear farming and RNG. People are like, I don't like layers of RNG, but it's like you have champions, which is RNG, right? You have gear, which is RNG. You have the gear rolls, which is RNG. You have gear rarity, which is RNG. You have drop rates from certain dungeons, which is RNG. You have all layers of RNG in the game already. The whole game is gear farming and RNG. So if you didn't like that aspect, it seems uh, weird to, uh, I guess if you did like that aspect, it seems weird to me um, to not like the, the Ascension system. And the reasons given don't make much sense to me. Now, if you wanted to make an argument against the Necropolis, and this to me is a reasonable argument in terms of, yes, we just don't want to farm the same thing over again for three years. We don't want to re-farm all our gear pieces. We don't want to re-ascension them. Now that is understandable. But to say um, like my gear pieces are ruined or um, I can't compete in Platinum Arena, seems like oh well that was already rng and if you want to remove that rng guess what you go spend a bunch of energy again which is kind of what platinum arena is all about right spending money getting gear leveling it up like yeah you might be able to go into the low end of platinum arena um way way deep into the game and 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 do it as a free-to-play player 
we're talking about competing at the top ends it's always about spending money getting your plus fours or whatever getting your best gear getting all that stuff and spending energy that's kind of what it's about not to sound like super hard on these people because i completely understand where they're coming from and to be honest if i was in their position i would feel the same because i like that sense of completion and to move on to the next project of my account and i imagine when you're at that point when you have this godly tier gear and it's like some of the best gear in the server or in the world you're like oh sweet i'm kind of done with that i don't need to run back into the dungeons run my 77,000th dragon run or whatever or a millionth dragon run or whatever and people don't want to go back and do that all again with the ascensions because now when they ascend a piece of gear yeah it's their legendary boots it was the best boot on their account but now it doesn't roll speed on their boots so now it's um not nearly as good as it possibly could be so then guess what they have to run back into dragon farm that boot same boot again get the right rolls and then go back to the ascension and roll it again and what you've just done here over the course of four years guess what you have to do that seven more times because it's a one out of seven roll for your boots. I completely understand that. That to me is a, uh, a good criticism. And the way you fix that is by adding a reroll system that you can grind for as well. Let's say you have your um, oil. They're not gonna do this by the way, but I'm just saying there's a very easy way to fix this. And let's say you have your oil and you run through and you're able to use that oil towards a reforging, right? Instead of ascending it, let's say it costs a little bit more, but you're able to re-roll your pieces. That would be an awesome feature and it would make this update complete. So I would say my final thoughts here, the update was a great update, but bad execution. Again, reiterating my initial statement, the way they execute it poorly, they added advanced quests to the lower players, which I do agree is a bad thing, considering the fact that we're not able to farm it within a reasonable means as a new player, one, and two, because it costs us energy, which we otherwise would not have used in that game mode, um, which both those can kind of be fixed by upgrading the drop rates and adding the key system that would make, fix both those problems. And then the third thing um, in terms of criticism is that they're basically rehashing old content. And I think that's the main problem people have. Again, as I mentioned, they spent four years farming. And now guess what? They have to do another four years because their gear pieces are ruined in a sense. What they mean is they aren't the best that they can be. And in order to be the best that they can be, they have to go farm dragon again, get their best boots or whatever, or, or fire knight or, or, or ice golem or, or whatever it is, spider, whatever it is for artifact ascension uh, or, or for accessory extension that might be coming soon. All of that has to be redone and they have to run into the sand necropolis to hope that they get the right ascension. And that is 100% understandable. But for everyone else outside of that platinum arena aspect, it's pure gravy. You don't care about arena. As long as you just care about running in, doing your, your random uh, tokens per day, it's not going to matter to you. It's not going to matter most part unless you're feeling the same way as those platinum arena players did which is i have been playing for three years i don't care about platinum arena but all my gear i have to improve again and that's understandable again that criticism of them rehashing old content and basically forcing you to farm all your gear again because your ascensions landed poorly there's no reroll system that is and would feel frustrating so i understand that but i want to mention that uh they could easily make this update a really good one. And for right now, I would say it's just a good one because it helps more than benefits the majority of the player base. They're going to listen to the people at the top and they're going to be developing the game for the top 1%. And that's not always a good thing. While I do think that people have some good criticisms here and some easy ways to fix it, I don't think that... Uh, I think that it's a, a large, a vocal minority right now because let's be honest, guys. If you're not in platinum arena or you're not pushing for an end game arena 12 speed that's pretty awesome for your dungeon runs that's all i'm saying thanks for watching everyone i'm curious to hear what your comments are in the comment section down below i uh, i have a feeling that i'm going to get a lot of hate comments from this one but i don't particularly care because uh, i like to share my thoughts again i appreciate all, all the the content creators sharing their thoughts as well and i do think that they have an absolute solid point I just think that uh, it's misdirected 
And uh, that's why I wanted to, to share my thoughts on this one as well. Normally I wouldn't, but hey, I'm making raid content right now as uh, I'm starting it out again after a year break and I've been enjoying it. So I figured, hey, why not throw a fresh perspective that majority of the content creators out there don't have because they've been playing raid for three years. So I guess uh, coming from someone who's starting a fresh account, brand new, doesn't have their old account to come back to or whatever. That's kind of my perspective. I'm excited for the artifact extension when I will take advantage of it later on when I start pushing for the really like end game clan boss and stuff. Keep in mind, this is like way later on in the game, but it always benefits us.